So it looks like we're at a pretty wild turning point in the smartphone world, especially with the upcoming Galaxy S25 Ultra. Word on the street is that this beast is about to leave the iPhone 16 Pro series in the dust. Seriously. Thanks to the new Snapdragon 8 Gen 4, this phone is shaping up to be the most powerful on the planet. Now while that's super exciting, it also seems like it might be the end of an era for Samsung and their Exynos chips. According to a big report from South Korean media, Samsung is facing some serious issues with producing their 3NIM Exynos chips. Because of that, we might see all the Galaxy S25 models relying on Snapdragon instead. There's even talk that we could get a MediaTek Dimensity 9400 chip in the mix. Can you believe it? Samsung using a MediaTek flagship chip for the Galaxy S10 Ultra really signals a shift in their strategy. It's like they've done the unthinkable. And guess what? Even Google is moving away from Samsung. They're teaming up with DSMC for their upcoming Pixel 10 series next year. So, while Samsung has outpaced Apple in some ways, it's clear this isn't how they pictured things playing out. They had a whole dream team working on their Exynos chip, but it seems like that dream might not come true after all. But hey, on the bright side, we're entering a new era where Android is leading the pack, thanks to the combined efforts of Qualcomm and MediaTek. It's going to be epic. Now let's talk about the camera upgrades on the Galaxy S25 Ultra. If everything goes according to plan, we might be looking at some serious game-changing features. Aside from a few minor upgrades, the hardware won't change much from the S24 Ultra, but there's one big area where Samsung is really pushing to improve, video performance. This is something we've all been waiting for. Rumor has it that Samsung is putting a ton of effort into enhancing video capabilities in the S25 series, especially the Ultra model, which will feature that impressive 200 megapixel sensor. I wouldn't be surprised if they introduce a new night mode for video, leveraging the power of that Snapdragon chip and their second-gen Galaxy AI. If they pull this off, the camera experience could really be transformed, maybe even rivaling what Google has done. Fingers crossed they keep everything on device for privacy. Speaking of Galaxy AI, a quick reminder that some of those cool AI features are expected to roll out in 2025, as confirmed by Samsung during the announcement for the Tavis 10 series and the S24 Fan Edition. Now let's not forget about the software on the S25 Ultra. One UI 7.0 is on the way, and the first hands-on from Sam Mobile is showing off some exciting updates. We're talking a revamped control center, a fresh notification panel, new icons, smoother animations, and a totally redesigned camera app layout. This is just the tip of the iceberg, as Samsung has a whole list of features planned for One UI 7.0. The only downside, we're not getting the beta update until December, which feels like a bit of a wait. But hey, Samsung's been working hard to optimize everything for the best possible experience with One UI 7.0. The S24 series is going to be completely transformed, and I can't wait to see all the cool stuff Samsung has lined up for 2025. So, what do you think about this potential end for Exynos chips in flagship phones? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments section. Alright, folks, let's dive into the full specs, design details, and expected pricing of the upcoming Samsung Galaxy S25 series to help you figure out which one might be your next smartphone. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any updates. We've got a lot to cover. First up, the standard Galaxy S25. The Galaxy S25 is set to rock a 6.36-inch dynamic AMOLED display. This screen isn't just pretty to look at, it promises improvements in brightness and color accuracy that will really make your content pop. You'll get a 120Hz refresh rate along with HER 10 Plus support and a sharp resolution of 1080 by 2340. Plus, it's all protected by Gorilla Glass Victus 3. So, you know, durability is key. For selfies, you've got a 12 megapixel punch hole camera up front, while the rear features a triple camera setup, including wide, ultra wide, and telephoto lenses. The exact sensors are still under wraps, but we can expect some solid photography capabilities. Under the hood, the S25 will be powered by the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 in the US, while global models will have the Exynos 2500 or MediaTek chipsets. You can choose between 8, 12 gigs of RAM and storage options, ranging from 128 gigs up to 1 terabyte, all using speedy UFS4 technology. This beauty is equipped with a 4100 mAh battery that supports 45 watt fast charging. 
And yes, it'll come with all the moderate connectivity options you need 5G, Bluetooth 5.3, Wi-Fi 7, and ultra-wideband support. It's launching with One UI 7, based on Android 15, and is expected to hit shelves starting at around $800 in January 2025. Next up, the Galaxy S25 Plus. Moving on to the Galaxy S25 Plus, this model features a larger 6.7-inch dynamic AMOLED display with the same fantastic brightness and color improvements. You'll also enjoy a 120Hz refresh rate with HDR10+, and a resolution of 1440 by 3120 all wrapped up in Gorilla Glass Victus 3 for extra protection. Selfie lovers will still get that 12-megapixel punch-hole camera, and the rear camera setup mirrors the S25 with wide, ultra-wide, and telephoto lenses, though we're still waiting on specifics for the sensors. This one's also powered by the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 in the US and Exynos 2500 or MediaTek chipsets globally. You'll get 12 gigs of RAM with storage options of 256 or 512 gigs, again using UFS4 technology. The battery gets a boost to 4,900 milliamp hour battery that supports 45 watt fast charging, and all the connectivity goodies like 5G, Bluetooth 5.3, Wi Fi 7, and ultra wideband support. It's launching with One UI 7 on Android 15 and is expected to start around $1,100 in January 2025. Now, let's talk about the star of the show, the Galaxy S25 Ultra. This powerhouse will feature a 6.9-inch dynamic AMOLED display with the same stellar improvements in brightness and color accuracy. It also boasts a 120Hz refresh rate, HDR10+, and a stunning resolution of 1440 by 3120 all shielded by Gorilla Glass Armor 2. For selfies, we're expecting a 12-megapixel camera, with some exciting rumors hinting at it possibly being the first S-series phone to have an under-panel camera. On the rear, you'll get a quad camera setup that includes wide, ultra-wide, telephoto, and a periscope lens. Again, specific sensors are yet to be revealed, but we might get a new 50-megapixel ultra-wide lens. This flagship will be powered by the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 across all regions and will come with 12 gigs of RAM, and this time you might also get to see a new 16 gigs variant and storage options of up to a whopping 1 terabyte, all utilizing UFS4 technology. The battery here is a robust 5000 mAh battery that supports 45 watt fast charging. As with its siblings, it will support 5G, Bluetooth 5.3, Wi-Fi 7, and ultra wideband and it's set to launch with One UI 7, based on Android 15. The starting price? Expect around $1,300 in January 2025. Overall, the Galaxy S25 series looks promising, with some familiar elements from its predecessor, but also exciting enhancements, especially with the Ultra model. The exclusive Snapdragon release means we should see some solid performance improvements across the board. The new design of the S25 Ultra is a refreshing change, especially since previous models had a similar look for a while. Plus, there's a lot of focus on AI, with the collaboration between Samsung and Google, which means we can expect some cool new features at launch. While those of you rocking an S24 might not feel the urge to rush out and upgrade, anyone with an older S model or those considering their first Samsung phone will find these devices very appealing. The launch is still a bit away, but we can expect plenty more leaks as January approaches, and I'll be here to share them as soon as they pop up. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a thing in the future.